Hi everyone, it's Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life. I'm coming today to talk to you about how I use my OneNote planner on my iPad. I've had some questions about if you create your pages on your PC, which is what I primarily do, how do you then use them on your iPad? Well today I wanted to show you as I'm filling out my February dashboard how I go about doing that. I have a standard iPad here with my Apple Pencil first generation and I'm going to walk you through some of the things that I use on the iPad using the draw features. Let's start on the home button. You see I have all of my pages here and my February dashboard is the one that I want to work on with you today. I want to show you how to use the Apple Pencil to fill in different areas of your dashboard. I'm going to go over here to the Draw tab, and you see that a ribbon comes up across the top where I have Text Mode, the Lasso Tool, Inserting Space, an eraser, a number of pens, and highlighters that I can choose from, shapes that I can draw, and orientation for my pen. Let's start here in text mode. If I take my Apple Pencil and touch text mode, I can then go into any of these tables that I have created here for my calendar and add things. For example, the family Zoom meeting at this point has changed. Let's say I need to add a time to this event, this family Zoom meeting. Um, I can go in here and touch that this little bullet uh, menu comes up at the bottom. I can touch on the middle one, which brings up the mini keyboard. And then I can simply use my pen to touch. And we're going to be meeting at 515. And you see that it's entered there. I can also come down here and add something else. Move that up so that you can see it. My knitting group is meeting on Monday. So I need to add that in there as well to help me remember. So that's how the pen can work in a table. Another way that I can use my pen is over here where I have my intentions for February or my goals. I can also use the pen to check these different task boxes. I have been walking more so I can click in that box and it inserts the check for me. I can check and uncheck as needed. I can go up to the top and choose a pen and you see the drop down menu comes up. I have all of these colors that I can choose from. And I have pen widths from very, very thin let me show you what that looks like. So that's that. All the way up to very, very thick there. Let me show you what that one looks like. So you can see there's quite a range of pens to use. Now to get rid of those, I can just hit my eraser and take care of that. I tend to like a pen width that is relatively small for my writing style. So I can come here in this area and I can start writing. Now remember, this currently section is a text box. It is not set up as a table. So I can just go in here and start writing. The most current audiobook that I read was The Mysterious Affair at Styles which is an Agatha Christie book. And we are eating lots of spinach salads. Uh, I have been planning a romantic Valentine's dinner which turned out to be very nice. Cozy by the fire. Waiting for spring 
to arrive. And we have been celebrating our February birthdays, of which there are three in our family. And traveling, of course, nowhere. Now, remember, your eraser works very well in here. Let's say um, we've messed this up and we want to erase that. Simply choose the eraser, touch where you want to erase, and then to choose your pen again, simply click the pen and try redrawing. There we go. Another thing that's available at the top other than pens are highlighters. If I click on the highlighter here, you see it has a fat chiseled point. Again, I have all of these colors that I can choose from and more ink colors that I could choose if I'm not happy with any of these. I like this teal color. And again, it goes from very thin highlighter to very thick highlighter. I usually like somewhere in the middle. And let me show you, those highlighters are a little more transparent. Let's go over here to our February in the garden and I'm going to use the highlighter to mark some things that I've been working on. I've done some winter sowing of my seeds in jugs, so I'm going to highlight that to say that that's completed. I went through my seed catalogs and actually ordered some strawberry seeds. I'm waiting for them to start to grow. I haven't pruned any damaged branches yet because I'm waiting for the snow to thaw. And I have been keeping my bird feeders clean and filled. And I have planned my irrigation for my deck pots, but I have not purchased anything yet. So that's how the highlighter works. You can also use the highlighter simply to add color in other places if you'd like. Let's say I want to come over here and add a little purple to this graphic that I have just to make it fit in a little bit better. I can do something like that. And you see there, it just brings a little bit of that purple color over to that side. And there you have it. Some simple ways that you can use your Apple Pencil and your iPad to keep things updated in your planner. The best part is, is that everything that I've just done on this page syncs to my phone's OneNote and syncs to my PC's OneNote. So if I go back and look at my PC, all of those things will be there. That's one of the wonderful things that I love about OneNote. Okay, thanks for stopping by. If you've learned something or found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of our videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye.